What does the Bible say about homosexuality? Hello, I'm Greg Neal, and my answer to this question is absolutely nothing. While this may come as a surprise to many, it is nevertheless a fact that the Bible says nothing about what we in the 21st century understand about homosexuality. Granted, there are several passages that many claim address same-sex practices. However, none of them are clear in terms of their context, meaning, or application for people today. The two verses in the Hebrew Bible which appear to address same-sex practices are Leviticus 18.22 and Leviticus 20 verse 13. Upon closer examination of their context, however, it becomes clear that these verses do not refer to loving homosexual relationships between consenting adults, but rather reference cultic prostitution and the worship of Dagon an East Semitic fertility deity. Additionally, since Christians tend to disregard most of the ritual, dietary, and interpersonal regulations found in Leviticus, selectively applying these verses while ignoring all the rest seems rather problematic. Some will claim that the story of Sodom and Gomorrah found in Genesis chapter 19 verses 1 through 11 contains a reference to homosexuality. But a close reading of the story doesn't support this assumption. Indeed, other biblical references to the city and its sinful practices, for example, see the remark in Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 48 and 50, make it clear that the sin of Sodom was actually in hospitality to strangers and attempted gang rape. In the New Testament, there are only three passages that apply to homosexuality. Two of them, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10, and 1 Timothy 1, verse 10, contain translation problems, with the meaning of one word which Paul invented being uncertain, and his use of an idiom being ambiguous. The other passage, Romans 1, 26 and 27, is problematic because in it Paul asserts that same-sex attraction is God's punishment for idolatry, something that we know simply isn't the case. People are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender because they're born that way, not because God is punishing them for worshiping other gods. Indeed, if such were the case, then how would this passage even apply to homosexual Christians? Some might say, but my Bible uses the word homosexual. And if it was good enough for Paul, it's, it's good enough for me. The English word homosexual wasn't introduced to the Bible until the Revised Standard Version was published in 1946. And to this day, it's not used by many modern translations. So it wasn't good enough for Paul. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about this or related topics. And you can find out more about Grace Incarnate Ministries on the internet at revneal.org. I'm Dr. Greg Neal. Thanks for watching.